Oh man, very excited, man. He put so much work in. I see him every day putting extra work in to get your number called and be ready to go. Um, it's a blessing for him. I know um, he's super excited. I'm super happy for him um, just on many levels because he do all the right things. And when you do all the right things, uh, you know, you're supposed to get rewarded. And, uh, you know, he got rewarded tonight. Neil. Hey, Russ. Very early in the season, you know, Garrison was like, you know, we might not be winning games right now, but we're not taking on that mentality of a losing team, feeling like we're a losing team. I'm sure it's easier said than done, but how have you guys gotten to this point where, okay, things didn't necessarily go great to start the season, but you guys just kept moving, kept pitching, and are able to now reap some benefits? Uh, just take one day at a time. You know, you always, like I've always said, um, it's the start of the year, it's going to be ups and downs in the season. Um, main thing is always keep your best foot forward. Stay positive, uh, even when it, the darkest times, uh, you know, through adversity is where, you know, you show who you really are, uh, not just when things are going well. So um, if you do that, it doesn't matter when or lose games, you always keep your head straight. And that's a part of my job to make sure that as, as a team, we make sure we do that. Is that something that you have noticed with your new teammates that, yeah, they're starting to learn that and they're starting to feel and believe that? Um, you know, I, I think so. I think it's a good thing. Confidence is a, a huge part of it, but not just that, but actually believing that you, you can do something great um, is another thing. And that's a part of keeping instilling that into their, uh, you know, mentalities and make sure they got that coming to every game. Thanks, Russ. Yeah. Chase. Hey, Russ, uh, you mentioned how hard Anthony Gill works. Uh, we've, we've heard that from other people tonight. Um, how has he kind of earned your respect uh, with his, his work ethic this year? Um, you know, I, I respect everybody, every player, uh, because the ability to get to this level, um, you got to have a, a mutual respect. I mean, once you get here, um, uh, it's what you do with the opportunity. Um, and Anthony works his tail off every single day, every morning, uh, he does all the right things. And like I said, um, when you see that happen, you want to make sure guys like that get rewarded. Um, and it's a blessing to be able to see him on the floor and uh, do great things. And um, in the second half, there was a, a moment where I think you got a whistle for like kicking the ball into the basket. And um, I'm just wondering kind of like what happened in that moment. Was that just kind of like out of frustration or, or what was no, I wasn't frustrated. I just kicked the ball, delay game. Why would I be frustrated? We have 12 points, 14 points. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't frustrated, but um, just, you know, doing Russell things, just, you know, in the game, nothing. Nothing about it, honestly. Cliff. Yeah, Russ, what was it like being in this building, known to be one of the loudest buildings in the league, with no fans? No, it's definitely different. That's different, especially for me, coming here, being so silent. Uh, that's a little different. I'm pretty sure it's probably different for those guys, too, in the other locker room as well. All right, last question to Christos. from your perspective in the last seven game stretch for your team and how comfortable you feel in that building tonight uh in this one yes oh well very comfortable i was here for a while and about the last seven games what this is the most impressive part for your team and the will uh, that you, take? you know i think for us we just uh, trying to take one game at a time like i said you move forward, you take one game. This game is now behind us. Now you got to get ready for the next next matchup and 